Buenas. Uh, I, I do my presentation in English, sorry. I'm from Brazil, but I can't speak in Spanish yet. Okay? Uh, I'm from IBM. Uh, and I'm a solution architect at IBM and Innovation Center. step back 
and start again. Okay? Uh, in the traditional way, uh, the failing could be uh, in one month or two months. So this is not good for us. Uh, other things is the, the platform needs to be mobile ready, ready, for example. Uh, and for us, it's important to focus on the coach. I don't care about a server, uh, configuration, VM setup, configuration, application server configuration. Okay, that's the case. Choice in your tools, okay, that's the possibility to choice. If you want to deploy or develop this application in Eclipse, Sublime, DevOps, or Hash Multi Concept, for example. Uh, any language, okay? Uh, Java, Node.js, Ruby, uh, PHP, Python, and so on. That's the idea. What is Bluemix? Bluemix is, is important to highlight here. It's open and standard. It's, this platform is built on Cloud Foundry, okay? Cloud Foundry is the same uh, for platform as I said. Is the same open stack for EIS, okay? Um, it's open standard. You can build it. In fact, it's not the, the the platform to develop it, your application, but to build it, your environment, to deploy your application, to manage and monitor your application. Any kind of sorry, any kind of application, web, mobile, big data, any kind of application, okay? Uh, so we can go live in a second. We have a lot of APIs and service. Uh, we, we, we build your application as a Lego. Okay? You catch a, catch a runtime, a framework, get some service from, for example, uh, for database, um, business analytics, and so on. Uh, On-premise integration, so it's, it's possible to develop a new application in cloud and integrate with your on-premises data center or on-premise application soft layer or another cloud. It's possible. Uh, another thing is DevOps. DevOps is another platform from IBM. DevOps is the platform to develop your application. DevOps covers the entire cycle of development from the requirement to the building. Um, layer security is uh, another important part because when you're talking about Bluemix, Bluemix is on soft layer. So any kind of security in terms of logical and physical security we have. Okay? And flex, flexible price. It's like a mobile cellular phone, okay? We call the provider and buy sets. How many minutes and how uh, amount this SMS you want to, to have. So it's like this. So I buy the sets uh, as the mobile, we, 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 we do the same. The access architecture uh, of uh, Blue Mix is very simple. That's a uh, So here we have the Blue Mix on cloud. Okay. Uh, here is us. Uh, us. So uh, your coach. When when I develop my develop my coach, for example, DevOps, Eclipse, RTC, Supreme, Genesis as well, uh, and build and push to Blue Mix. Uh, inside Blue Mix infrastructure, uh, the first layer is soft layer, so that is infrastructure as a service, okay? Uh, and over, I have the Cloud Foundry. Cloud Foundry is like, a, uh, as I said, it's an um, open standard, okay? It's not IPM product. Uh, this is an initiative from EMC and VMware, okay? And now I have a lot of companies using. So, uh, up over this um, layer, I have your runtimes uh, such as Java, Node, PHP, and so on. Here is on, only some examples, okay? We have more than four. 
uh, over this uh, layer, your application. Okay? You push your application directly to here. Uh, and your application is using some services. Services from Bluebeats, from this layer, or services from the cloud, any other services that's on, on any other cloud, and your prem, on-premises application. You can integrate your application here. What kind of services we have? Uh, IBM services, third party, and community. Okay? So, uh, most of the products from IBM is coming to here as a service. And we have some third parts, so some uh, ISVs or companies that develop some specific services can put their services here. And from the communities, MySQL, PushGree, and so on. Uh, okay, here is again no VM, no middleware setup, okay? Uh, any language, any uh, runtime. Uh, or bring any language from the community. Uh, here is an example of IDE. This IDE is a clip, is a DevOps, okay? It's in the cloud, so that's an example of the, the environment to develop your application. <coughs> I try to go faster because I have a demonstration. I think that's the best option to show you the potential of this uh, environment, okay? Uh, and again, choice, your runtime services and tooling, up to you, okay? Here are some examples of the services we have. Web services, for example, data, data caching, session caching, uh, for big data, for database, okay? Uh, here is uh, one of the services that uh, is on um, Bluemix, this auto-scaling. So when you deploy your application, it's possible to include a service that is auto-scaling. It means uh, we can put some policies, and in these policies, the system will, uh, uh, as soon as the system, for example, reach 80% of uh, memory utilization, 80 uh, one instance we create automatically, so the uh, auto scale horizontally and virtually it's possible. Okay, this is some uh, a screenshot from the system. We can see this real time. Okay, follow the off system real time in the cloud about the CPU, memory utilization, and so on. Uh, okay, this a web application. Uh, any kind of web application, mobile backends, okay? Uh, so, push or APIs to use to extend your mobile application, uh, APIs on premises, analytic reports, some examples of service. Here is the, the model, business model, okay? So, it's possible pay as you go, uh, or subscription, for example, six, one year, two years, or two years. Uh, and we can do uh, or deploy your application from zero to code in less than five minutes. It's true. I show you. Uh, and here is a demonstration of the utilization from month to month. Your subscription and uh, how amount the utilization you have. Okay. Okay. That's it. Let's show you uh, the first. Um, I show you an application that we have here. I developed a video, okay, I make a video because um, just to guarantee in case if we have some problem in terms of um, Have some information about my resource 
addresses that I have uh, uh, subscribed. In this case, I have 8 gigabytes, and I use a portion of this 8 gigabytes. And 30 services, but as well, a few services, 5 services in this case. And I have three applications that's running, it's okay, with three applications. And I will create a new application uh, from the Nexus application. Okay, let me show this folder. This folder is, uh, is a copy from the Nexus folder. Okay, that was developed on the Nexus, on the part, and we copied this folder from that to here. Uh, the difference is on this file. Okay, this file has some information about the how we need to and must be uh, applying uh, this application, the name of the application, uh, how the, the, the portion of the memory, uh, this space and instance. Okay. So let's call this and um, let's see how we can do that. Let's go to the common line. This is the same thing, okay? That's the file. So the comments is very simple. It's on CF, that's on file. It's a common line. This is a very small player. Uh, CF push. Okay, push automatically this comment. Get information from this folder, the comment folder. All information about it. And we push this application automatically to do this. That's it. Okay, as you can see behind, in the back, new application. Exactly. No, because I, I, 
I am small development, and I usually think in in make a, a lot of customizations in spite of make a standard program. Okay. Uh, yes, I understand your question. So that's the idea, the main idea for platform as a service. Okay. Uh, it, it's not necessary to have a very skilled guy expertise on configuration or something like that. But, as I said, uh, Bluemix is on Cloud Foundry community. So, we can go to the Cloud Foundry community, okay? It's not IBM. Okay? And here, what is possible for you? Customize your build pack. Okay, so it's possible. It's not a very good idea, but in some cases it's it's a it's a good approach to develop your build pack. Okay, so that's uh, one option. Uh, so uh, we have I think three minutes. I will try uh, to deploy a PHP application. Okay, from scratch, no code, nothing. I don't know if you have some time. I have enough time, so... Um, okay. Alright. That's it. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, we can use any build pack from the community. So let's see the found from the community. We have a lot of good back here. I want to use PHP, for example. Okay? This the source code is in GitHub. It's public. Here's the comment. So, uh, I need this one. The link of this build back. Okay? Here. CF. Login. Okay. Two minutes. Login at Bluemix. Okay, so I'm not using Bluemix site. Okay, Bluemix. <laughs> That's why. Okay, my develop, developer uh, space. Okay, I'm there. So now it's um, CF. Push. Okay, my application is, for example, GX24 PHP. And the build back is that one. I copy the link. Okay. So, let's try. I don't know if you have enough time. Okay. It's something happening here. One file. Start an application. Here. Okay. Start the build pack installation. PHP 5.5. Apache. That's my build pack. So it's possible to customize your build pack. Okay. No problem for Bluemix because Bluemix is on Cloud Foundry. So it's totally open. 30 seconds, maybe. Can I, can I use any database like my MySQL or anything from the cloud, from the community? Anything. Uh, and uh, about the language, anything that there is uh, there are in the cloud from the community. Okay. Uh, there are about 20 languages possible to use. Go see dot .NET, but dot .NET from for Linux. Okay, so that's it. Okay, here my application. Let's try it. One comment: HTTP info. It's yeah. all about the server. Okay, that's an example. Two minutes, three minutes. Okay, thank you. <laughs>